I'm Mary Jo, for those of you who are new here. And I'm Jenny, her trusty sidekick. Yes, <laughs> and it's time to play the music. It's time to light the lights. It's time to get things started. On the Muppet Show, roll into Orlando. Tonight, <laughs> fantastic. We're really cheesy, but we love our Muppets. Yes, and Muppets are some of my favorite Disney characters, even though they weren't originally Disney, but they are now. So they're part of our Disney universe. So. I see you got your your Muppet ears on. Yes, and I have my Muppet sweatshirt from Box. Lunch. Ooh, that's a so nice one. So if you're interested one. in this one, you can still pick it up at Box Lunch. Nice. It's got a lot of like, characters on it. Mm-hmm. So oh, today we have a great video for you. We have my March Madness collection of pins, which I'm calling Muppet Madness. And it's my giant collection of Muppet pins. Yay! Yay! Just like Kirby. <laughs> I have so many Muppet pins. I couldn't use my Mickey Mouse board for this video. So I had to use a bigger board because I have so many pins that I wanted to showcase today. So. Do we have some fun facts too, Mary Yes, Joe? we have lots of fun facts about the Muppets. So, hope you will be entertained. You will definitely be entertained. And if you're having a bit 3D vision, just go with it. <laughs> we went yeah. to Muppet Vision yes. 3D. We did. It's my favorite Maybe attraction we... at Walt Disney World. Yeah. So. Yeah, we got some good pictures. Maybe you can yes. throw one in here. We so. will. It show you some pretty. great pictures. And I've got the rainbow ears. Yes. Because of the rainbow connection. Yes. Kermit, and then a wonderful Your shirt. my shirt, which is fantastic. They're doing Abbey Road, and I have the same shirt. Too. You do? Yes. <laughs> well, there you yes. go. I think you bought it after you saw mine. I did. <laughs> yes. Excellent. Well, let's get started with the pins. Yes. Who would you like to, or which one would you like to let's showcase? Let's start with Gonzo. Gonzo the Great. Such a whatever. Yes. <laughs> okay. This is part of the last year's collection. It was a yearly pin collection of sports, featuring sports figures. Oh, fantastic. So this is Gonzo doing his daredevil act. The cannonball. The flying Gonzo, <laughs> as you will. And I think he's really cute, and I have I got this on sale at Shop Disney, so it was a really good price. Fantastic. Yes. I love how he's nothing specific. He's yes. A, he's just he's a, a whatever. whatever. Yeah. Mary Jo, where does the term Muppet actually come from? Do you know? Yeah. It comes from the terms marionette and puppet, so it's a combination of the two. That makes sense, because yeah. Jim Henson wasn't originally a puppeteer. No, he no. Was, he considered himself an... He wasn't very interested in puppets, actually, as a child, until he had to do a puppet show in high school for a TV production. Mm -hmm. And then he became more of a puppeteer. Yeah, as, and just and, an artist and designer, as he defined yes. himself early yes. on. So, that's cool. Yes. Fabulous. All yeah. right. Should we go? Would you? Which one do you want to do next? Um. Let's do the big main one. Oh, cool. We go for the center. Yes. Is it a purse? Is it a pin? No, it's a pin bag. It's a, it's a pin like bag. A pin purse. Wow. It's a pin purse. This is part of the I Collect series of pins from 2020, and it Ooh. is a limited edition. You can show them the back of 2,000. Mm -hmm. So that means I have one and only 1,999 other people have this pin. So that's pretty cool. That is cool. Yeah. It's got the, the Mickey shape, so you know it's yes. a Disney pin. And it has Muppet Vision 3D. 
3D on the inside. It's 3D! We'll show them the inside. The corn is popping in your face. It. <laughs> and the water that spritzes at you is no fun. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be throwing in the movie facts all yes. throughout. We'll definitely touch on that. You want to say who's in there? Yeah, this pen has Gonzo. It has Animal. It has Dr. T, Fozzie, Piggy, and Ralph. And of course, Kermit yeah. as Muppet Vision 3D. This I one's wish. really neat. This is cool. This is my favorite pen of the board. Okay. So Get it early on. Okay. Which one are we going to hit next? Um, you choose. My choice? Oh, I'm going for this one. Yeah. This one is really cool. Whoa, so delicate. This too. one I got from eBay. Okay. These are. This and it's cool. really cool. It's Hard a to hold. guitar with the Muppets on them. Isn't that? Oh, wow. Kind of reminds me of the Electric Mayhem, even though they're not on the pin. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, it's you you do have animal animals wrapped up. And Frozzy and Kermit and Piggy. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know that uh, Doctor Teeth and the Electric Mayhem? Like, They've never produced an album. No. Yeah. Not at all. Yeah. You know, you have who is it? Janice. I love Janice. Yes. She always she always says the inappropriate stuff, yes. so I dig her and Zoot and who else is there? Mm. I love Doctor Teeth. Yeah, he is great. Floyd, Janice, Zoot, and Animal, and Dr. Teeth. Yes. Yeah, that's the electric man. You can't take no for it. Yeah, that's system. probably my second favorite pin of the bunch. This one's really cool. Yeah. Okay, which one shall we do? Um, go. Your Let's go with these guys. We could do these together. Yes. Oh, so oh, we oh, have oh, the oh. old men. Waldorf and Stadler. Yeah. They sit in the balcony at Muppet 3D Vision. And during all Muppet shows. <laughs> yes. Let's but see, particularly so at Muppet 3D Vision, they have some interesting comments about the movie. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I can't even think of any yes. right now, but they're so great. And what we just read is that they're actually what? They're named after two hotels in New York, the Statler Hilton, which is now called the Pennsylvania, and the Waldorf Astoria Hotel. So that's pretty cool. That is cool. I never knew that their names came from hotels. No, me neither. Yeah. Their characters are great, though. Yes. There's so many. What is it? What? How many Muppets did Jim Henson produce in his lifetime? I think over like two thousand. Yeah. <sighs> I, I remember crying the day that I found out Jim Henson passed I know, away. In nineteen ninety. Yeah, I was I was a kid and I was Me sitting too. there and I asked my mom, "How's Kermit gonna talk?" I know. How are they all good? It was, it was so sad. It was I. Were, Remember, I was only nine years old, mm -hmm. and it just was devastating to me. First. I was like, how are they going to make more movies and go on with this? Well, the family kept going. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you. Absolutely. Henson family. Yeah. And Frank Oz. Yes. Gotta, gotta yes. love Frank Oz. Um, how about your little... Actually, let's go with her. Oh, you have two Waldorfs. Oh, yeah. I just noticed that. Huh. Maybe a pin trade. Anybody need yes. a Waldorf? A Waldorf Astoria. What do you got? We have Miss Piggy. We actually have two pins of Miss Piggy. Do you want to show them the other one? Sure. What did you say? You, uh, you shocked me when you said Piggy actually has a last name. She does. She's Miss Piggy. Lee. E. Yes, Lee. L E E. Oh, this one's nice. This one just says Miss Piggy. Yeah. And then this one, as you saw, she's wearing her Mickey ears. Yes. So, and she is. is and that one came as part of a set, but I don't have the full set. I got the this one? Obviously. Okay. Yes. Yes. Not only is she not married to Kermit, Kermit proposed to Piggy, but they're not in. Uh, but they're not married. They're engaged. So they're only married in the scene 
of the Muppet Steak Manhattan, which actually is my favorite Muppet movie of the four original movies. So, what's your favorite movie? Oh, The Great Muppet Caper. Yeah. Yeah. I've got the paper towels. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And it's, and they go to London. <laughs> yes. And, Oh my gosh! And uh, John Cleese yes. as uh, as second. Neville, yeah. yeah. And and Manhattan is my second favorite because yeah. you know going on Broadway and yes. the stage, and I used to sing the songs. But uh, John Cleese is the best is, oh, yeah. as Neville at, at the Highbrow Street. And when they steal her, ladies. Uh, Diamond necklace. Diamond necklace. Yes. yes. Charles Grodin yes. doing that. All yes. the, it's got to be so awesome to act with the Muppets. Oh yes. You know, yeah. I think Amy Adams when she they were doing the new film. She did. She was asked to do the film specifically from a video she was given from Jason Siegel and Kermit the Frog. So that was pretty cool. And she was very impressed and. Definitely wanted to take on the role of Mary in the new film, The Muppets. And also, obviously, if Kermit the Frog asks you personally for a favor... You can't say no. You better do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can't say no mm -mm. to Kermit. No. 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 Those skinny little legs. Yes. That banjo playing. Oh, gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, something cool about the, because we mentioned the banjo yes. and the Rainbow Connection, which was from the Muppet movie, it reached number 25 on the Billboard Hot 100 in November 1979. Mm -hmm. It lasted on the Bus Hot Billboard for seven weeks on the list of top 40 songs. I love that song so much. Yes. Over the years. Frank and I have some great Muppet stories to tell you where... 15th first date anniversary is coming up so we're gonna have a video on that so stay tuned to watch that and find out why we love the Muppets so much yes. it's really from the very beginning yes it's so cool you'll see you'll yes. see <laughs> okay uh, how about this one yes this one we got a lot of guys on here yes Who's on this? So this one just has the Muppets. In general, it has Gonzo, Gonzo Fozzie, Animal Kermit, and Piggy. And I really like this pin because it has all the main characters mm -hmm. on it. Yeah. It's very, very nicely done. And this is, what do you call them? A pin on pin design. It's a pin on pin design. Yeah. And then we have Mr. Baker himself. Me, 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 me. <laughs> I don't have Mr. Honeydew, though. Bunsen Honeydew? Oh, no, that's okay. No, I'm missing him. Beaker. Oh, he's so cute. I know, he's so adorable. I love his red locks. His what? His red locks. Yeah, his fuzzy top hair. Yes. And he's purple and green. I love it. That one's a great one. He's such a unique creation. Yes. And just... Wow. Okay. <laughs> Too much more. They all are unique. I know. Creations. Do you have a favorite Muppet? Well, there's always a few. Yes. You know, we all have our things. There's Animal, Kermit, Beaker, mm -hmm. Gonzo. Yeah. Mine are Fozzie, Kermit, Miss Piggy, and... Ralph the dog, because I love dogs. You gotta, Everyone, if you haven't watched this channel and don't know that I like dogs or something's going wrong there, you're having Muppet 3D vision. <laughs> <laughs> I love my dogs. He and looks like have, he's having Muppet vision in yes, his eyes. <laughs> we have a pin of Ralph here. And Ralph was actually one of the most famous first Muppets. Yeah. He actually was uh, the sidekick on the Jimmy Dean show. Rolf was on the Jimmy Dean show? Yes. Wow. And he had the most fan mail, even more than Jimmy Dean himself. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty cool. So, That's like when they uh, 
Jim Henson did character, not necessarily the Muppets we know, but on Saturday Night Live. Yes. And, like, Jim Belushi, didn't, yes. or John Belushi, did not like sharing the spotlight well, with them. the Muppet. Fupping. Fupping. Fupping Muppets. Muppets? Something Muppets. like that. Something like that, yeah. <laughs> he did not like sharing the spotlight with them. Hmm. So, yeah. Not great. Okay. Um, I'm Ralphie on the show. We can share a Swedish chef. Yes. Okay. You can't forget the Swedish chef. No, 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 no. Fernie, 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 Fernie. We do it right away together. Yes. These are great. These little, like, the he's like the Waldorf and Statler, yes. Miss Piggy, yes. Ralph. It just has the, has the, he the head image and the name, but, mm -hmm. yeah. He sings about the pig and froggy wedding. Yes. <laughs> in in, in uh, Manhattan. That's so good. Okay. I could use a meal from him right now. Uh, Swedish yes. meatballs. Yes. Swedish. I don't know what else. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, so let's talk about my favorite. Yeah. Fozzie Bear. Yeah, we got two Fozzie. Three Fozzies. Yes. Okay, we'll do these two to get that. Yes. Okay, so just like rounding out the character ones as we're doing. This one is another one that says Fozzie Bear, mm -hmm. like all the other ones. And Fozzie was created by Foz Fazakas, and he created a special, special feature that actually made Fozzie ears wiggle so he was a puppeteer himself and i just love fozzy bear he is so hilarious with his bananas and just everything that he does when he's singing moving right along with kermit and a bear Car. in his natural habitat yes a studebaker yes <laughs> <laughs> but he's just so funny <clears throat> Their interaction together in Great yes. Muppet Caper as reporters. And the Muppet movie, the original. Oh, yeah, and absolutely. Traveling mm -hmm. together is just awesome. Yeah. So, like our yeah. travels. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we come to a giant fork in the road. Yes. Speaking of giant and the Muppet movie, yes. tell us about that. So, Animal, when he becomes a giant animal in the original Muppet, the original Muppet movie, they actually created a 60-foot animal puppet for the, the scene in the movie, and that is a well-known fact, and it was giant. It definitely looks so much, so... <laughs> Ginormous. Mm, yes. That's cool. Yeah, don't build a mini village. Build a giant mm -hmm. animal. Here's your other fuzzy one. Yes. Oh, is he scratched? This one looks old. Yeah. I think I got this one off eBay, too. Okay. Okay. So we have some new pins to show you that have just been released. Okay, which one would be this one? No, it's Kermit and Fozzy. Oh, yeah! Yeah! These are part of the Switchboard pin collection. Switchboard? Yes. So, so like phones? They're talking on the phone. Ah. So they give, they give you one pin that you can see, which is Kermit, and then they give you a reveal pin, which is the mystery pin. Now, I didn't want to go through all the trouble of trying to find the mystery Fozzy pin mm -hmm. because... Then you buy box after box after box. So I found these on Mercari as a set. And I definitely wanted the two of them. I also mm -hmm. want Mickey and mm -hmm. Minnie. Woo, but I definitely wanted Fuzzy and Kermit talking to each other. He's and he has a banana. Yes. I do that all the time. So. I love it. <laughs> waka waka, <Yes>. right? <laughs> waka waka. Oh, they're cute. Yeah, they're really cute. I didn't 
as I said, wanted to go through mm -hmm. the trouble of getting all the pins from this collection. I really just wanted Kermit and Fozzy and possibly Mickey and Minnie. I love so. this because he's in his director's chair. Yes. And he's got the, you know, the phones that we grew up with with cords. Yes. Mm. And they both look so happy to talk to each other. Yeah. Woo. Uh-oh. We're bending. What is it? Kermit does look happy. What are his... Remember how I used to always draw Kermits with chalk yes. at camp? Yes. That was my one art thing yes. was drawing Kermit. She actually showed us how to draw Kermit. So we all learned how to do it at camp. Mm -hmm. So that was really fun. All right. What is Kermit? Uh, didn't you say Kermit, you read something about, because he was the first, Jim Henson's first yes. creature. He was the first creature. He was actually on Sam and Friends, mm -hmm. which was the first original Muppet show in the 60s that Jim Henson produced. And Kermit actually was created from his mother's, Jim, Jim Henson's mother's and ping pong balls for the eyes. Genius. So, yes. So that was the original puppet. It was from Jim Henson's mother's coat and his ping pong eyes. So, yeah. ping pong ball eyes. Yeah. Uh, I think that's it. We just have one of Kermit and one of the gang. Here's the gang. whole gang. Here's the gang again with animals. Mm. Miss Piggy, Fozzie, and Kermit, and Gonzo. Let's see. And it says the Muppets on it. Look at, oh yeah, I'm sorry, I'm showing this. When I was looking at Kermit on the phone, it made me remember what you said about how, what is it? Kermit is left-handed, and so is our, most of the rest of the Muppets cast. And I'm left-handed, too, so that's pretty cool. So Kermit, actually, is the only and only amphibian American to testify in front of Congress with other conservationists for the Association of Zoos and Aquariums, and they wanted to promote awareness of endangered amphibians. So... Hopefully we can show you a picture of that here. <laughs> so I think that's really a cool fact too. Yeah. That he actually was in front of Congress. So, so I have two Kermit pins that are specifically just Kermit on the board. And he Here's does have that little uh, Mickey Mouse thing near him if you could yes. see that. The, like a heart, but it's Mickey Mouse yes. ears. It's that a logo. hidden Mickey. Yeah. Pin. Oh, is that what they're called? Yes. Oh, I see. Oh, I found it on Fozzie. <laughs> I win. No. <laughs> and this is this is classic. This is what I would draw. Yes. The body too, but yes. still, this is uh. Classic Kermit. Mm hmm. Oh. Yeah, you know, we don't hear from his nephew Robin a lot. Mm -hmm. Remember? I don't know. Although he's in the one of my other favorite movies. The Muppet Christmas Carol. Oh, I've only seen that one I, once. I watch that movie every Christmas. It is a tradition in my home with both Frank and myself. And we just love that one. So we have one okay. more pin on my Muppet Madness pin board. And this one's and appropriate. And this one is current for 2021. And it's Kermit, and this one came from Shop Disney, and it says Walt Disney World, and I chose this pin. I usually don't like dated pins, but this year is the 50th anniversary of Walt Disney World, as all of you probably already know. From so, you. <laughs> yes, so... That's really exciting. I know a lot of you are going to be heading down to Florida to celebrate the 50th anniversary 
I wish I could be there. I was just to say, can we go with? Yes. <laughs> I wish we could be there. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to make it this year. But we're going to make it someday. So. And I'm sure I'll come over and, yes. and, and you'll be watching the videos of some of the people who have gone there. Yes. Those are always fun to see. Yes. Yes. Yeah. When the, they're, the when they're vlogs. Yeah, filming along the trip, like here in the, they would be in the Star Wars mm -hmm. land. Speaking of Star Wars, yes. the entire cast of Star Wars appeared on the Muppet Show in yes. like their fourth season to promote the movie. I think. And also in the end of the Muppet movie, there were two hundred and fifty different puppets in the finale of. The Muppet movie. When the whole, scene. when they're singing yes. and everything, yes. yeah, and this, the rainbow comes in. Yes, Jim Henson wanted to make it a goal, a goal of his, to get 250 Muppets in that scene. So that's pretty cool. There's so many fun facts we could have shared. Mm -hmm. We have a boatload of them, but we just stuck to our favorites. For today so thank you so much for watching today's video I hope you had some great fun and learned some new Muppet facts thank you again for watching watching uh -huh. make sure you subscribe smash it that red button and make sure you give this video a good thumbs up and let us know too, again, also your favorite pins and also your favorite Muppet, Muppet movie. movie and why. Yes. Which scene, what quote. And it can be <laughs> any of the original four. It can be any of the, new the newer one, ones. Which I love too. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I think that's all we have for today. Again, stay tuned for our love story between Frank and I of the rainbow connection we made and i think that's all for today so we'll see you soon bye bye